Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time to come to my channel, remember to click subscribe at the end of the video. Okay, for our today, our title will be about what is strength, the poem by Mary O'Neill. So, what is your favorite color? Do you like green, yellow, blue, purple? What is your favorite color? The learning outcomes. By the end of the lesson, pupils are able to read the poem with the correct intonation and pronunciation, answer the questions given, give the synopsis of the poem. Are you ready? Okay, so these are some of the objects in grade mentioned in the poem. What do you think are these objects? Okay, the first one you can see this is sunburn, sunburn spot. Number two, this is a shame, the face turned great. These are bricks, firecracker, and then angry. When you are angry, your face turns straight. So it's a circus cut, the trimmings on a circus cut, fire, fire engine, and drag engine. So all these things are mentioned in the poem. Okay. So for this poem, we are going to look at what is straight. Okay, so uh, you can look at this YouTube video yourself. Okay, you can look at this YouTube video yourself if you want to know more about the poem. Okay, so now we will look at the poem first. What is red by Mary O'Neill? Red is a sunset, blazing and bright. Red is feeling brave with all your might. Red is a sunburn spot on your nose. Sometimes red is a red, red rose. Red squiggles out when you cut your hand. Red is a brick and the sound of a bat. It's hotness. You get inside when you're embarrassed and want to hide. Firecracker, fire engine, fire flicker red. And when you're angry, red runs through your head. Red is an Indian, a valentine heart. The trimmings on a circus cup. Red is a lipstick. Red is a shout. Red is a signal that says, Watch out! Red is a great big rubber ball. Red is the giantest color of all. Red is a show off. No doubt about it. But can you imagine living without it? Okay. Okay, so this is the whole poem. Let's look at the synopsis of the poem. Okay, what is strength? The persona of the poem writes about red color as seen in certain things natural and man-made. The sunset is described as blazing and bright. The sun can cause a red sunburn on one's nose. Red is associated with the feelings of being brave, shy, and anger. When you are brave, shy, malu, mara, muka jadi merah. In entertainment world, the sound of a band and trimmings of a circus cut are described as red. It may be the color of show off, show off, tunjuk, tunjuk, menunjuk, menunjuk. But it's hard to imagine living without it. So 
our word will become meaningless if there's no red color. The theme for the poem, the main theme, theme means tema. The main theme of the poem, what is read by Mary O'Neill, is how one color can provoke feelings and responses. Some of these responses are cultural. Red is fire engine, red is a rubber ball, and some are real life experience. Real red speaks out when you cut your hand. Okay, so when you cut your hand, blood will come out. The sentences are short and specific. Red is a lipstick. Red is a shout. Red is a sickness that says, watch out. Watch out means be careful. She repeats the specific word, right, to make impression on the color in our gray maple. Red are also a pleasant color which portray embarrassment. Embarrassment means rasa malu, anger, mara, and a sunburn. The negative effects of the color such as a show of menunjuk pinjuk is mentioned and she has no doubt about it. Can we live without red color? Okay, so our world will become meaningless if there is no right color. Moral values for the poem, we should be alert of our surroundings and what it offers. Okay, so jadi kita mesti prihatin dengan alam sekitar kita. Kita mesti prihatin dengan apa yang berwarna merah. We should value nature as a source of our needs. We should not take for granted what is obvious. People may come from different cultural backgrounds, but the same thing runs in the blood, in their body. Blood is right. We should not be arrogant, even if we are important. Kita tak patut menunjuk-nunjuk, walaupun kita sangat bagus. Okay, the moral values that we learned here, we should have a positive attitude in our daily life. Okay, for example, when you fail in your examination, Okay, you can say, okay, maybe I can try to do better next time. Have self-confidence in doing everything and anything. Believe in yourself. Malaysia boleh, saya pun boleh. Be brave or courageous in facing the challenges in life. Okay, so we must be brave in facing any problem. We must try to control our anger or temper. So... When we are angry, our face will turn red, so we must try not to get angry. We should not be hateful towards others. Okay, so we must not hate other people. We must try to change our bad behavior. Okay, kita mesti tukar kelakuan buruk kita. Okay, now it's quiz time for the poem. List the positive examples of red. So what are the colors in red? Courageous. Okay, when you are bright like a superman, the color is red. When you are strong, the color is red. Confident, you believe in yourself. I think I can, saya boleh. Okay, then the color will be red. Okay, from the poem, list the negative examples of red. Embarrassment, when you are ashamed, when you are shy, the color is red. Angry. When we are angry, our face will become red. Violent. Okay, so when we are very violent, ganas, okay, uh, the color is red. Question number three. What causes a sunburn? What causes a sunburn? The sun. Okay, so the sunburn is caused by the sun. Red squiggles out refer to... So what does it mean, red squiggles out? The okay, red squiggles out means blood. Okay, so blood is red. What flower does red refer to in this poem? What flower is mentioned in the poem? Okay, the answer is rose. Okay, so the answer is rose. Rose is mentioned in this poem. Do you think color should be celebrated? Why? Okay, why do you think color is important in our life? Yes, because they represent important things in our life. You can look at the surrounding. Trees are green, grass are green, sky is blue, sea is blue, and many things are in red color, blue color, and so on. Okay, number seven. In your opinion, what can one do to minimize negativity in life? So how should you overcome negativity? Okay, so... 
We need to stay positive and seek for help when needed. Okay, step two messages you get from the poem. Okay, so the moral value, the main message in the poem is our life is colorful. There are many colorful things in our life. Number two, colors are fine. So you can write a poem about colors. Question number nine, what will happen if we only live in a world with black and white as colors? There is no other colors. Only black and white. What will happen? Okay, it will be boring. Okay, so make sure you color your life with colors. Okay, with many beautiful colors. And that's the end of our lesson today. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to get more videos from my lesson. Okay, bye. See you again.